people new to medium format, whether it be Mamiya or Bronica or Hasselblad or Rolly or Pentax, often get nervous about loading 120 film. But really, if you uh, if you know what you're doing, you know a few key points and you, you practice, it really is quite straightforward. Uh, my name is Jonathan Harris and I'm going to talk you through loading a Bronica 120 film bag. Okay, so the first thing to say is it doesn't matter if you're using the ECRS, ECRSI, the 645 equipment, or the Square equipment, the SQ, SQAI, or the 6x7 GS1 equipment. The, the fundamentals of loading the back is, uh, are, are very much the same. This is, this is the, uh, a 126x6 form back for SQ. Okay, very quickly, first of all, let's just, let's just run through the anatomy of the back. I'm looking at the top. There are a couple of switches there that you squeeze together just to get into the back itself. On some of the older backs, that's that's a single switch, um, but really straightforward nonetheless. On the back, you have a memo holder here that you can put the, 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 the carton end in, just to remind you what film stock you're using. Uh, over on this side, you have a little wheel that you turn to um, advance the, the film onto the first frame. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, just on the top there, also you have the uh, the frame counter. Now on this slide side is the dark slide. Now with the dark slide, you do have to be careful that the um, dark slide is put in in the right position. So if you can see here, you've got two little um, circle patterns. As long as both the circles are at the top, then it's perfect. If you happen to put the dark slide in the wrong way, then it won't lock all the way into the camera and the back won't come off the camera. It'll cause all sorts of problems. But as long as you've got the two circles at the top, the dark slide will, will push positively in and you're ready to go. Okay, so loading the film. First of all, uh, just, just push these two little levers together. Uh, the back hinges down and out comes the insert. You can do this on a um, on the camera, but it's a lot easier just to take it off the camera. Now, if you've just finished a film, the chances are the, uh, the take-up spool, the plastic take-up spool there, is now on the wrong side. The take-up spool should be on the, in the take-up position, which is, which is the lower position. You can also tell which the take-up position is, because it is the one adjacent to the other uh, wheel that advances the film. So the first thing to do is just uh, just gently push that up and you'll see that this little hinge section here just lifts. You can then pull your finger, you can pull it up like that, and then the film, the, the spool rather, comes, comes, comes right out. Pop the, uh, the one next door up as well, like that, and then you can put the spool in the, um, in the correct take-up position. Now, next thing to do is to, um, is to get your film. First of all, you need to take off the, um, the little paper ribbon that holds it all together and make sure you take, you, you take it all off. Make sure the glue's gone and the, the paper is completely gone. You don't want little bits jamming in the mechanism. That's, that's, that's quite important. I've already removed the ribbon on this, on this film. Now when you, when you load it into the, into the insert, you want to make sure that the backing paper, so the black backing paper, is facing the lens. So, you drop the, 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 the film in like this, bottom in first, and then just twist it gently and close the, um, the, 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 the top hinge section so it, so it then so it sits flush importantly and it then holds the film into in position. Pull the, um, pull the backing paper around. Again, make sure that the, the black side is facing the lens. That is important. And then feed it into, um, into the take-up spool just here. So you've got the paper, the paper tongue. That just feeds into the um, into the take-up spool. Now, once that's um, once that's fed in, I'll try that again quickly. Once it's fed in, you want to push it all the way through, and just make sure. And I don't know how where you can see that that it does, it is pulled all the way through. If you only push that in slightly, what can happen is that you can wind it on, and that can then slip. So um, as the camera advances, the film it's not actually pulling the film through properly so you can get overlapping frames and a whole load of issues. So at this point, make sure that is pulled right through and then just gently turn the wheel on the bottom. Now this is important. Keep some tension. Keep some tension on the film. So just, um, just put your thumb there and just gently turn. Not a massive amount of tension, but you're just making sure that as you, as you gently turn that wheel on the bottom, this isn't slipping. And I can feel now there's, there's tension there, which means this is loaded correctly. You wanna just turn it around until you can see the arrow there lining up with the red arrow on the back itself. And once, 
Once the film's in that position, it's now ready to go back into the back to be advanced to the first frame. So when, once you've got to that point, just drop it back into the um, drop drop it back into the film back itself. Close it. You can either use this little wheel here to advance to frame one, or you can stick it on the camera to advance to frame one. Doesn't really matter. It works perfectly well either way. So once you, once you're there, you're ready to go. Um, and take your shots. Um, in this case, it's a six by six. So take your twelve shots. Once you finish the film, the, the camera will automatically wind around and around and around, which will wind the film completely off. So you can then open the back, send the, off the film, the film off to be to, to be developed, and um, and start again. I hope that's been useful. If you have any comments, please stick them in the box below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.